What is going on, everybody? Brad here, back for another uh, Let's Talk Jurassic on a random Tuesday night here uh, because we have some news to discuss. So this will be going out. Uh, this stream will also be going out on the Jurassic Park podcast podcast feed, which already has two bonus or no one bonus episode, two episodes out this week so far. So we're going to be looking at another episode <laughs> coming out here because, guys, we have a title for Jurassic World 3. So this is a, this is exciting. This is so exciting. I had to pop on here uh, on a random day here just to talk about this title. I am so pumped. Uh, everybody out there, get excited. Let's start talking about this stuff because uh, I'm excited. I know you guys are too. I've seen everybody over on Twitter get excited and pumped up and uh, over people over in the Facebook group. If you guys are not on our Facebook group, please go join it to start the discussion uh, along with us. That's the uh, Jurassic Park Podcast Facebook group. Just answer two questions. Um what is an actor who is an actor from the movie and who is a contributor uh, for the podcast? So it could be me. It could be anybody else out there that's contributing for the podcast. But answer those. Come talk about this title with us. Um, what else we got? Oh, and we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be recording the Jurassic Mailbag uh, coming up here this week. So. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just reading <laughs> your comments there. Uh, we're going to be uh, recording this week for the Jurassic Mailbag, and people have been going crazy with the voicemails already. I put the, uh, I put the word out there for everybody to send us your voicemails. So if you guys here are here in the States, it's easiest for you to call our voicemail line, 732-825-7763. Uh, call that number and leave a message, your thoughts on the title. And then uh, you could also, if you're outside of the country here in the U.S., you could uh, email us and uh, let us know by email within MP3. That way we can go ahead and play that MP3 on the episode and just send it to JurassicParkPod at gmail.com. We have, like I said, so much to talk about. And, yes, I'm working overtime. And thank you, Tal. Over there in the Philippines still, right? Is that where you are? Um, I'm excited, dude. Thank you so much for that super chat, man. Are you hyped? I'm hyped, dude. I am ready to talk about this. Oh, man. What do we got here, guys? So, today, over on Twitter, Colin Trevorrow decided, you know what? I'm going to do something a little bit early here, and I'm going to release the title for Jurassic World 3. And, yeah, he came out and called it Jurassic World Dominion. So, guys, Jurassic World Dominion is the next film. My God, that's exciting. Honestly, I am shocked. I am shocked. We'll get into a little bit of how much I'm shocked and why I'm shocked in a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, so Colin's tweet came out uh, February 25th today, uh, as of this recording, 2020, at 2.44 p.m. And it just said, day one, hashtag Jurassic World. So go follow at Colin Trevorrow over on Twitter. And uh, you can follow stuff like this. I think he's also on Instagram at Colin.Trevorrow. I think there's a period in there in between the name but uh and he's he's pretty new to uh instagram so go follow him there for more set pictures as he indicated on his twitter earlier today um but this is for day one um which actually was not the day that he released his picture it was the day before so this was yesterday guys um february 24th 2020 was day one filming uh principal photography for jurassic world 3 otherwise known as Jurassic World Dominion and that is pretty epic. That title is is crazy sounding. It is there's so much connotation behind that. Like oh man. And I uh, all right, so before we get into the title too much, I'll say uh I'll say that I am just shocked that Dominion is the title, right? So We've covered this plenty, and we actually did cover it in this week's episode as of this recording. Uh, the Jurassic Wire for February 2020, which was um, myself and Aaron Beyer kind of recapping since we weren't uh, discussing things recently. We did, we kind of skipped the last month, but um, 
we were kind of recapping the big thread uh, from our buddy James Ronan here at the podcast. He's a contributor here. And, uh, you know, he set up that huge thread asking what people thought the title was going to be. And a lot of people commented. And, um, you know, we kind of sifted through that. You know, I think we did this on the mailbag as well with Jennifer Evans. And we, we sifted through all the responses and kind of tried to, to parse out the best ones, which ones are more uh, susceptible to be chosen. And, you know, because Colin in that thread said somebody somebody got it right. So I feel like this one was just not on our radar or anybody's radar really outside of maybe the the one person i think that maybe answered it which i believe it was um the jurassic man over on twitter and i think it was actually maybe if i if i saw correctly um i think it was new dominion so it, it, correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that's what it was um but uh i think that's close enough that is close enough to guess New Dominion, and it's kind of it's out there. It's it's kind of crazy, not not expected, um, but it's it's a good one. I think it's a good one. I think we were all expecting New Era. I feel like a mo most of us were expecting uh, this title to be called Jurassic World New Era, um, but it's not the, it's not the case. And you know, we lined it up so many times with all the. Uh, ongoing like discussion around New Era. The fact that Jeff Goldblum says it in the film uh, at the very, very end, you know, we're in a new era. Welcome to Jurassic World. Um, something along those lines. And then, you know, with the whole wedding tweet, uh, Tom Fishenden's tweet uh, to, uh, this is just like contributor centric, this entire thing. James Ronan brought up the discussion. Tom tweeted out, uh, 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 congratulations uh, or something or, or other to uh, Josh Evans and Jennifer Evans. And uh, Colin, you know, commented it's a new era or something like that. So I feel like with the fact that we're moving into what seems like a new era, with the fact that dinosaurs are out and loose, it seemed like it was the best option, right? Well, no. Apparently the best option is Jurassic World Dominion. And, and luckily, I, I feel like I settled on new era, but I'm not too strongly tied to it uh, i didn't really have my hook set in where i think oh man it's too bad it's not called new era um you know I, I didn't really feel too confident either way i just assumed it would be based off the context clues but dominion is here to stay it seems like and there is a lot going on a lot to discuss i think um but uh yeah what does this mean so all right so i'm gonna go to uh, you know, this is what I like to do here. I like to go to Wikipedia and kind of, you know, sift through the information that we have and see what's going on when it comes to these these words or these definitions and, and uh, you know, what it could mean. And I remember I went through um, Wikipedia and, and other stuff when it came to the working title for this movie, which is Arcadia, which um, let me uh, let me bring that up again, uh, because I believe it was something about unspoiled territory or unspoiled harmonious wilderness, which kind of leads you to believe that maybe this is going to be like a, a place where it's a sanctuary, a safe place, unspoiled, where the dinosaurs can roam free, harmonious uh, wilderness. So that was kind of where we're, where we're kind of taking this plot line and, and the synopsis and all that. What do we think about Arcadia and how does that tie in but then we have Dominion which feels completely opposite from Arcadia all right so when you're talking about Dominion you're talking about control and ownership and and it's just it just feels the opposite of Arcadia uh, about unspoiled Wilderness, harmonious wilderness, frolicking in the uh, in the fields, in the trees with the harmonious wilderness. And then you have Dominion, which just feels oppressive. It feels a bit dark and it uh, it's it's a strong, very strong, epic title. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's about it's about control and ownership and uh 
Uh, you know, honestly, Wikipedia doesn't have too much, but let's look up the uh, the Webster <laughs> Dictionary. It says domain, supreme authority. Uh, so a self-governing nation uh, in, in terms of government, uh, commonwealth of nations. Uh, another definition, law, ownership, absolute. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's about control. And and what is something that the Jurassic movies have never had? What what is something the Jurassic movies have never had? What do you know? Is it is it control? Cuz I feel like it's control. You know, these movies are all about losing control and not having any type of control over the situation, right? It's about uh it's about just the walls, you know, crumbling, the fences going down, uh, the containment's not working, the control and the ownership just not working. But here we are again. We're settling on control and, and command and, 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 and just ownership. And I don't know. How does that fit into this, this, this next movie? Because... I feel like the conversation online and certainly here on the podcast has been all about freedom and, and exploration and sanctuary and all this good stuff. Not about uh, prison and control and, and, and all that. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting take, I think, and an interesting direction. And it begs for completely different conversation. Um, we got to talk about power again. And I can't wait to do that with Jennifer because we had a huge debate about power and control and who was in control. What was that control? What did it mean? Uh, and, and that'll be interesting to see moving forward. And um, you know that this, this really does center around like Ellie Sattler and her, her conversations with John Hammond about control and the illusion, you know, you never had control. That was the illusion. And, and, and here we are for Jurassic world dominion about to have Dr. Ellie Sattler back in the forefront. So there's gotta be a correlation there, right? There has to be some sort of connective tissue, uh, with the, with the title, with, with, you know, her coming back. And it just, everything about this this movie, the vibe, I feel like, based off of almost nothing, except for where, where we left off in Fallen Kingdom, was all about just letting go and maybe moving forward and and not about the past and, and you know, the, the old parks and, and, and control and all that. But here we are, we're, we're thinking about it again. And I can't help but think about it because... You know, it's it's about control. Jurassic World Dominion. What does it mean, guys? I don't know. I, I'm lost, but it's interesting. I think it's interesting nonetheless. But, uh, but um, I do want to take a look at the image as well because there's a lot going on in the image that Colin released, which... Uh, audibly speaking, if you're if you're listening to this on a podcast, it's it's an image of somebody holding the the clapper thingy, whatever that thing is called, you know, cut or action, <laughs> that thing, and you know it says Jurassic World Dominion on it. It says director Colin Trevorrow, camera uh, John Schwartzman, um, and it had that date two twenty four twenty, um, slate thirty one, take one. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, the lens is 75 millimeters. Um, but yeah, and it's interesting because this we know is being filmed in Vancouver as we speak, or I don't know about this moment, but you know, currently it is being filmed in Vancouver. Um, and I guess it's, I guess it's a little wintry up there. Uh, it would seem to be because it looks like there's a little bit of snow here. Now, is this natural snow? I don't know. Uh, could be fake or, or, you know, they generated from machines or something for the set. But it looks like there's snow. And we have we see trees. That's about all we see is maybe some 
like the base of a tree, the trunk, another tree in the back, a bunch of trees in the on the bottom area, and then the clapper and somebody standing there holding the uh, the the clapper itself. Um, if it's not called a clapper, I apologize to everybody in the film industry. What are you gonna do? Um, <laughs> but it's very interesting. There's snow there. What does it mean? Uh, I I don't know because you know going back to Jurassic World, the first movie in this new saga um, started off with a a smashing footprint in the snow. I mean, outside of that uh, opening sequence with the Indorap, no, not the Indoraptor, the Indom, <laughs> these names again, the Indominus Rex uh, hatchlings. Um, you know, it, it cut to uh, a, a foot stamping into the snow, and it turned out to be a bird. But it was snow, and we were at the um, Zach and Gray Mitchell's house. There we go, the Mitchell residence. And, you know, it was kind of a fake out. It was we, – we kind of, like, thought, oh, my God, is this a dinosaur in snow? When, no, it was just a bird. Now, was it coincidence? Was it foreshadowing? I don't know, because Colin has said that this is the movie, Jurassic World 3, Jurassic World Dominion, this is the movie that he's wanted to make from the start. So it could have be it could have could have been a setup this whole time, right? It could be something that he planned, you know, that he he knew he was gonna say to himself, you know, in the future, I want to direct this third movie that takes place in the snow. We see dinosaurs in the snow. Um, and, and that's where I want to take the movie. And that is really awesome. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to see dinosaurs there? It's un, it's unknown at this moment. We, do, we have no concrete information when it comes to that. Um, but... We do know that out in, uh, I almost said Arcadia, uh, in Vancouver, uh, they're supposed to be filming, I, th I believe, in Vancouver Island. I don't know if they've moved around or not. But um, recently we saw somebody out there, uh, I guess a fan of the film, uh, take a picture with Isabella Sermon, who plays Maisie. She was out there. Um, and I know Chris Pratt was out there in, in his flannel, is his, like, red flannel, and Maybe some other outfits. I don't know, a jacket and a sweatshirt or something like that. Um, I I don't know. I haven't I haven't really seen what uh, Bryce Dallas Howard is up to. Maybe she's there as well. I don't know. But at least we know that those two are out there. And you know, it could this could just be human centric. The, these these shots. I don't know. Um, and this is the only image that we have, so I don't really know what else to go off of. But those two are out there at least. And I really hope dinosaurs are included in this shot. I mean, I just want to see dinosaurs in a new setting. Um, you know, we've seen them in tropical locations for so long. So long. The entire time, right? I mean, the entire time. Like, except for the end of The Lost World where it was San Diego. And that's a, a pretty well-tempered place, a temperature place, I, I would assume. Uh, it's not Vancouver, which I don't, you know, I don't really know if it's actually Vancouver. It, it's most likely not Vancouver. It, I'm sure it's probably Northern California or, you know, I don't know if they went back to, uh, you know, I don't know how far Owen's cabin was, but it could be, they could be out at his cabin again. Um, but his cabin was out in the wilderness. The Lockwood estate was out in the wilderness, um, there was a lot of, you know, picturesque, uh, sprawling shots of wilderness in Fallen Kingdom. So, uh, we could be out there somewhere. Battle at Big Rock took, took place very close to Lockwood Estate. So, you know, it could be out there somewhere. It just could be taking place in Northern California or Oregon or Seattle or something like that. I don't know. But, um, man, I hope there's some dinosaurs out there and you would assume so. It's a safe assumption that there might be some dinosaurs. Uh, can't can't guarantee, I guess. But this could be. Maybe this is just like you know Claire going back to, 
to the Mitchell residence and just saying, hey, sis, what's going on? How are the nephews? Having some tea? Trying to figure out what the husband's name is? Is it Scott? Is it something else from the book? Because the book was a different name? I don't know. But I don't think that's going to be the case. It doesn't seem like that would be the case. I'm hoping it was just a big... I keep hitting the mic. A, I, I hope it was just a big, long setup. You know, from the beginning of Jurassic World all the way to Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, and that's one I got to get used to saying. Uh, I'm still not ready for it because... In my mind, I've, I've been thinking new era a lot. So it's kind of set in, but not fully. Like I said, not enough for me to be like, oh, I'm so mad about it. But enough for me to think like it's probably the title. Um, but Jurassic World Dominion. Also, when I got to remember how to like type, because I feel like, you know, once you start typing all these titles, you're like, oh, you just breeze through them. And I'm like, oh, Dominion, I, I'm here again. Um, but I like it. I think it's a good title. I think it's good. And it and it talks about control. There's other things out there that we may or may not know as far as this movie's concerned if you paid attention to the fan community uh, within the last week. Or if you listened to the end of our, our podcast this week, you may have heard some discussion on what I'm talking about. But we're not going to talk about that here today. Um, we're not talking about that. But Jurassic World Dominion is a thing. I am so excited for it. And I hope you guys are too. So, what do you say we take a look at what's going on over here? Oh, man. Jurassic Souls. Thank you for the super chat. My God, dude. $14.99. Thank you so much. Wow. Jurassic Souls 88 says Jurassic World Dominion. I see. I almost said something wrong. Jurassic World Dominion is going to slay us. Life really will find a way. Amazing time to be a Jurassic fan. Absolutely. It is an absolutely amazing time to be a Jurassic fan. And this stuff is so exciting. You know, it's always so exciting when something new pops up. And like I said, I don't know if you guys listened on the podcast this week, but this, this is the start of when we can finally say we don't know anything else about Jurassic World 3. You know, when you're sitting in the theaters in 2021 and, and you, you saw the movie, you can officially say, I know it. I know everything about this movie. I know what happened. But right now is that first moment where you, you look at, at what we know about this movie and say, we're getting a little bit closer. And if you if you looked into what I was just kind of mentioning a few minutes ago, you might know a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so this is an amazing time. And it's there's only a few moments like this where you can say, I don't know much about this movie, but we're heading in, heading in the right direction. Um, but Tal, Tal's in, I, I'm assuming he's still in here. Uh, he just said he listened to the mailbag last night and settled on New Era. <laughs> and that's the work up to Dominion. I'm sorry, man. I know we've been talking about New Era since that uh, conversation started over on Twitter about the title and, and the, the giant thread from James Ronan about what Jurassic World 3's title is going to be. And uh, I know a lot of people settled on it. And like I said, it, it's a settling title. It feels right. Everything about it felt right. <sighs> but uh, that's not the case. <laughs> Yaroslav is in here. Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, he said Universal's Minions. And yeah, it's a, <laughs> you can't help but like think of the synergy here from Universal with their Minions franchise. <laughs> Life found a way, you know? And the thing about... Uh, uh, I was mentioning before is the tropical areas. Um, you know, we haven't seen these movies in, tro in, in places that are not tropical areas outside of San Diego, but I guess you can pretty much consider Isa Sorna in The Lost World not very tropical because it's pretty much just like mostly like a forest and not very tropical feeling but uh i think you get the point um but yeah so uh, rice in here mentions are those redwood trees i believe it i believe they are redwood trees um i don't know about these ones specifically but i believe out in that region there should be some um but i don't believe this is going to be you know uh a take on sorna i just don't think that's going to be the case even though it does look like it from the ground um 
All right. So, man, I am excited for this movie. But, um, yeah, what else do we got? We got anything else? No. We got this image that I made here just for <laughs> just for discussion purposes. Um, Colin's tweet. Man, this image looks good. Oh, man. Jurassic World Dominion. And, um, you know, one thing I think you could actually take away from this, this image is the fact that there's not necessarily a logo for the movie. Uh, you know, a lot of the films or all the films have a very specific logo when it comes to what they are. And Jurassic World had the very uh, concrete, a little cracked looking, but not too bad. Um, that was the logo, very sterile. Uh, and then Fallen Kingdom was a bit more cracked. And then, of course, all the imagery with lava and embers and fire and stuff like that. And, you know, we've kind of talked about where this next logo will go, but so far we don't see anything that may indicate what the logo would be, but I really hope it looks like what they've presented here on this clapper. Um, now, you know, you do have Jurassic World Dominion, and as far as I can tell, it does look like there are, like, you know how the Jurassic font has the line in the middle of every letter, um, just kind of tracing each letter? It is red in there, so I, I wonder if that's a, a direction they're going to go, um, you know, because this is this is a throwback to Jurassic Park era because of the old cast returning, Alan, Ellie, and Grant. And maybe more, maybe more. Um, but, you know, it looks like, you know, they got the logo there, the Jurassic Park logo, just outside of the font on there. You have the old retro, uh, you know, red and yellow, the red uh, kind of sun behind the Rex and the yellow outline of that. Um, it looks very, very cool. Obviously, it's the Jurassic Park logo. There's there's almost nothing better, nothing more iconic than that logo. And it's on on this clapper here to celebrate the release or the not the, not the release, the start of Jurassic World 3, Jurassic World Dominion. And that's really cool. It's really awesome that they decided to go with this throwback image, the 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 T-Rex head and the red and the yellow. It's a bit unexpected because I feel like as far as Jurassic's concerned in Universal and, and this new trilogy, it's mostly been about separating itself from that. Um, you know, we have seen a little bit of uh, insight into the past, whether it's the old visitor center very quickly or the uh, Explorer overturned and obviously the, the overt references to John Hammond and his legacy Um but here we are with, with the old logo, uh, which is fantastic. And, uh, you know, it makes me think about um, uh, Jake Johnson, you know, coming back again because he had this logo on his shirt in Jurassic World. So, man, is it cool to see that thing. And I hope that this is incorporated in an actual logo at some point in time. Now, I know, I believe, I believe Jay Jurassic is in here. Jay, what's going on, man? I'll try to get you in here. Um, let me try to get you in here real quick. So, Jay, if you're still listening, man, hit me up on my email and I'll try to get you in here real quick. Um, you got to go to Google Hangouts. <laughs> Uh, go to Google Hangouts and try to get in touch with me there. I think I have you on there somewhere, probably. I see your name. Let me see if I can. Uh, well, Sorry, I know this is not very fun for the uh, viewers, but I'm trying to get somebody in here who can discuss this with me real quick. Unexpectedly. Um
All right, so let's see if we can get Jay in here. I'm going to try to uh, give him a call. All right, all right. Waiting to see if I can get through to him. He's probably like scrambling at his computer right now. <laughs> But what do you guys think? Jay, come on. Answer the call. <laughs> Taylor is in here. What's going on, Taylor? I'm trying to get into contact with Jay Jurassic here. Uh, bear with me. I just did a whole spiel for a little while. So trying to bring in some new blood here. Let's see if we can get into, into contact with him. Jay, where are you, man? Are you here? Come on, man. Oh, I see your name pop up. Answer the call, bro. <laughs> All right, give. We're almost there. Very closely here. Stick with us. We're gonna have Jay Jurassic come in here for for a second, as long as we can make this work. <laughs> These are always wild when I attempt to get somebody in here in the chat uh, as it's happening live on air so let me let me try to give him another call see if i can get him back in here so the other day i, I got to hang out with jay which was awesome hey jay yeah, all right hold on let me try to patch you through live all right i think we have jay in the chat uh go ahead talk oh he's not talking can you hear me yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. I think you're live. Go ahead, talk again. Can you hear me? Yes, you're live. <laughs> you're live, man, on YouTube with me. What's going on, dude? <laughs> What's up? Sounding good, man. Yeah, cool, cool. you excited about this title? Yes, uh, very excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did not expect that today. Oh, no, not at all. Completely unexpected. I I was I was listening to um I actually caught up on the on uh, a couple of the last episodes on the podcast and I was uh actually listening to the the mailbag and I was listening yeah. to the wire and <laughs> there was there was constant talk about like whether it was going to be this title or that title and you know, a lot of it was new era and new era was being thrown here and I saw new era in other places and I'm like but this one it came out of left field. I did not expect this as the title. I know, dude, when it popped up, when I first saw, I was just like scrolling through on my phone and I'm like, oh, oh, Dominion. I was like just sitting there like shocked. What is going on? <laughs> Dominion, like it's like you said, it was just not, it was not there. It was not on my radar at all. I had no clue. I was not focused in. And if you obviously you listen to the the mailbag and the wire and I probably talked about it here on YouTube as well. That was one that I just never talked about. I don't think I talked about that at all. So no, it, it was it was um, I didn't. It was nowhere near my radar. Like uh, of I kept thinking, you know, uh, I remember you saying that um, that extinction was out of the question. Uh, that uh, <laughs> Colin said no for extinction, and then um, yeah, yeah. another one was like with survival. I think Jen said something about survival, and I kept thinking about those type of terms. And but Dominion, I that came out of nowhere. And the same thing, I was I was I just happened to be on my phone at that very moment. Like um, I was I was drawing. I was at my job um, drawing some designs, and uh -huh. I went to check on my phone, and I was I think it was I think it was Twitter. Yeah, it was Twitter. I was on Twitter, and I see this um, I see like the the thing the you know I don't know what it's called the. <laughs> The, the cut thing <laughs> oh <laughs> like i was just like the clapper whatever the you know yeah yeah i don't know the name the either cut, i'm like the cut, uh, thing. <laughs> the cut square yeah. <laughs> oh uh everybody in the movie business is probably like oh wow awful it's, it's um, a clapper it's called a clapper board not that far off okay oh, oh, clapper, oh wow clapper okay. board. there we go makes All sense right. that's the noise it makes 
Yes, that was uh, way better than um, the cut square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way better than the cut square, gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, I see this, and, and honestly, for like, it had to, like, like, it was just processing my mind, like, wait, is this fake? Is this real? Uh -huh. What is this? What's going on? And I see, like, it's like, Colin's like actual account, and I'm like, yeah. Did he just did? did oh, <laughs> he just dropped. He just dropped the title. Yeah. And oh wait, no, actually, I didn't. See, now I remember exactly how I discovered this. It was off of Nublar Seven, Josh's account. Oh, okay. he had posted. He had posted all the movies, and then the last one he put Dominion, and I'm like, oh yeah, I saw that. I was like, uh, I was like, wow, <laughs> that's a that's a cool fan like fan name for the title yeah yeah and I, and I was like wait a second did 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 it just drop like <laughs> i was like and that's when i went to colin's page and i was like wait yeah this, this has to be fake no it's real i'm like oh it's real <laughs> it's one of those things that when you look at it you're like oh maybe they maybe that's just like a placeholder you know maybe that's just you know, the, whatever mm -hmm. they're using as a working title. And I'm sure a lot of people thought that. And, um, you know, I definitely saw a lot of reactions saying, is this real? Is this legit? And, you know, if it was posted by Colin Trevorrow and then reposted by, like, Frank Marshall and the official Jurassic World account, at that point, it's safe to say that it's legit. It's definitely the name. But even, you know, after that first initial tweet, you're like, wait, what? What's happening? Like, how is this happening? Um but yeah, I, what do, and what do you think? Do you think it has any kind of, like, what do you think it means for the movie itself? Do you can you sense what it could be about? Uh, honestly, I think it's uh, you know, I mean, where this this whole thing has always been um, going, where we, it, you know, I mean, the main theme of these movies is that we can't control nature, and mm -hmm. we're trying to by messing around with the genetics and and just uh, constantly always try and create this new life and then when we do what happens we can't control it that's basically like what these movies are about yeah um so i don't think that central theme is really going to change that much it's just how you work that theme how how you make it come across to make the movie entertaining and at yeah. the same time like uh you know um not stray far from like that concept so what yeah. i feel is like we're gonna get to this point where now, since the dinosaurs have escaped into our world, the last, the first trilogy, we've had them kind of locked up. We've only, we only saw that T Rex in San Diego, so we really never had experienced uh, these dinosaurs roaming our neck of the woods. Um, I feel these animals, if, if by like standards, um, if we're gonna go by what dinosaurs like really did on this earth and how long they were on this earth they were very adaptable these creatures mm -hmm. adapted to every continent on this planet and i know these yeah. ones are genetic mutations but they still centralize that that dinosaur dna they still have you know they're still dinosaurs even though for these movies they're you know they're hybrid with some other animal aspects but they they're like us in the sense that we've inhabited almost every part of this planet. We 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 are adaptable, and dinosaurs were very adaptable. They survived in cold cold temperatures. They they survived in hot temperatures. They survived in in um desert temperatures. You know what I mean? The the raptors yeah. that we love and all they come from like the deserts. Um, so I feel that now them being released, that's it there's no turning back that we've we've lost control oh, in yeah. a sense and I, I i get the whole like it was only a bit uh a few of them but um with with uh this getting out there everybody has a chance to make one now you know yeah everybody sorry that was has... long that was that was a long explanation <laughs> No, no, but every you're you're right. Everybody has a chance to make one, and that means that like that means everybody has a chance to control them. You know, it's mm -hmm. it, it's all about control, as you're saying here. It's it it it's it's gonna. I don't know. I have no idea. It's gonna be in, intimidating. It's gonna be uh, oppressive. Like I said earlier, it seems like it's gonna be a very oppressive storyline based off of what we are reading into this this title. Um, and and as I kind of 
assumed, and as you heard me say on podcasts and whatnot, I just thought it was going to be about, you know, being wild and free, not about being mm-hmm. contained. And, and and I don't know. I, I guess the, the, the full conversation of control and power struggles is going to be back on the table again. Yeah, and I feel that's that's going to be like the main theme of this one where – it, it's going to be people like scrambling to try to control them again and try to get this under control. And we've seen it in, in like, we've seen this in actual, in, in real life um, with the Burmese pythons in Florida. Once they, when they escaped down into the wild, it, they became, they're overpopulated. They've, they've taken out uh, a mm-hmm. lot of uh, natural creatures in, that they have in Florida. They've, they've oh, wow. become, a nuisance in the sense like they have now like hunting teams that go out and, and take like a couple of them out every once in a while because they're just so many Burmese pythons. And this this is a creature that was not native to Florida, but was introduced during uh, Hurricane Andrew. I, I think it was Hurricane oh, wow. Andrew when it destroyed a lot of like pet shops and it got out. Mm-hmm. And this oh, is kind of like the same thing. But these are this is a, a variety of like different species of dinosaurs. So each one could be adaptable to different environments so it's not just one dinosaur we're worried about we're worried about 20 somewhat species (laughs) now dominion uh as far as control and ownership and all that do you think that it may apply the opposite direction towards dinosaurs to us like as far as the control of the dinosaurs like dinosaurs having control or do you think it's purely Uh, (laughs) human-based humans have control or want control i think it's it would be humans wanting control but the dinosaurs not control the environment once again like uh mm-hmm. i know it's it's can be far fetched to think that way cuz it was a few dinosaurs but um if there is a time jump and these creatures um become like really like strong breeding pop- populations what is you know i mean yeah uh it's going to be tough to really take them out or if if there's something introduced into the environment where um, these animals might have um, prehistoric uh, diseases or, or something, they might bring that we've never really dealt with, uh, yeah. uh, like personally. Like they're when they're in the zoos, they're being controlled in the zoos. So you know, I mean, they were kept healthy. But what if they they have like ancient protozoa or something, and that's introduced into the environment? They're fine. They've been living it, <laughs> living with it forever. But they introduce us to humans, and and but I, it's tricky because then you're going down that Planet of the Apes route. I I don't know. Yeah. It's hard. It's difficult to think what is really going to happen in this movie. Yeah, and you yeah. mentioned the like a little time jump maybe, and mm-hmm. uh, the, all the dinosaurs, the few dinosaurs that may be out. But you know, as far as we can tell so far, with the fact that the animatronic was showcased recently, mm-hmm. um, and Colin seemed to indicate that. That is not the same baby Nasutoceratops that was in Battle at Big Rock. Uh, that this, the, the, the ongoing breeding is going to be an issue. And it seems like, you know, it's not just the ones that got out. It's going to be a whole lot more than that, it, it would seem. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm sure exactly. they, they, they need to do something to, to make it, to make the world seem a little bit more threatened. Because if it was just the, the select amount that got out at the Lockwood Estate, you know, that's not very intimidating. You know, you can take mm-hmm. that out, but you need to grow from there. And, and hopefully these, these things boom, and all of a sudden there's just dinosaurs all over the place. Um, and, you know, based off of one animatronic, we can assume that, that there's going to be a lot more dinosaurs. And, uh, especially with, the you know, with Battle of Big Rock, who um, yeah. where we saw there's a breeding population of uh, – a pseudoceratops you know it was, it was only like it was three of them you know just a female male and a baby yeah uh we don't know if that's just a, a little branch off the herd because these are herding animals so there might have been more out there and um i feel the predators will be there'll be less of the predators than will be of the herding animals because it's just how nature works but um we do know there was one Allosaurus, and then we saw it kind of growing up out in the woods. But there was one also that was taken um, hmm. in one of the container yeah. ships. So yeah. that Allosaurus that we saw out in the wild, that's just a wild Allosaurus that I guess was being contained when they were all set free. Mm-hmm. And there's another one out there. And, I mean, if they 
if they go out and maybe capture this one or they create more allosaurus you, real easy you're gonna start having breeding populations and there's no there's no like um there's no control over the breeding populations really while they're out in the wild yeah and there's who's to say what people can uh what kind of uh control the government or anything can have over those older those like millionaires that bought those dinosaurs they can do whatever yeah. they want yeah they're gonna be off the radar and just doing their own thing and uh yeah yeah i don't know if we get too far we might start talking about that thing that popped up recently uh last week so let's not touch on that yeah too much. yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's but that's right that's... i i i've been kind of tiptoeing around it because i don't want to <laughs> say anything so i'm like uh, how we can had, i we... say stuff without like yeah. saying other stuff to real you know we that's had big like, conversations oh, no. the other day about this though um but yeah, and I know uh, I want to look over in the chat real quick because I know Yaroslav is asking uh, oh, yeah. if anybody has any tagline ideas. So if you have Jurassic World Dominion, what's the tagline? Because what was it? Uh, Fallen Kingdom was Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and I think they used Life Finds a Way, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So and then Jurassic World was the park is open. Um, yeah. What is Jurassic World Dominion? Um, illusion, I did a little, I did a little mock-up poster like earlier today because oh, yeah. everybody, everybody was doing uh posters, and I was like, oh, if I can I like, let's see if I can kind of sneak a, a real fast poster between these designs. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know, I, I, I didn't really put too much thought into the, into the tagline, but you know, I mean, I, I feel there's better ones out there, but I put a uh, survival of the fittest. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I saw that. It it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get it here into the chat so everybody can see it. Um right, but cool. I, I like that. I thought that was a pretty good one. Survival of the fittest. It's it uh it definitely works. Let me try to bring it up here for everybody. All right. Yeah, exactly. So. I, I I wanted to put like a Malcolm tagline, but I'm like, ah, we've heard all of them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last one was Life Finds a Way, and I think that was the best one for yeah. like all right. In, no, right, something so. has survived is one of my favorites though for oh, Lost World. Gosh, yeah. All right. So here is uh, J Jurassic's uh, poster, Dr uh, Jurassic World Dominion Survival of the Fittest. I really like that vibe. It's very creepy, scary, um, and I, I like it. You know, it kind of replicates what we see based off the image. You got the trees there, um, and mm -hmm. you're you're using the the retro logo, which is you know used on that uh clapper clapper board the the clap square cut square <laughs> yeah the, the clap square <laughs> the, the cut square cut <laughs> so i like that i like that um what else could we say i i feel like we could say like uh, like i think i mentioned illusion of control or or something yeah. i feel like illusion because because it seems like it's based a lot on ellie and and her uh you know her kind of dialogue with john hammond about about the illusion of control um and the fact that dominion is all based on control and 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 stuff like that so i feel like i want to i want to come up with something in that range but the i think the illusion of control it, it sounds okay it doesn't sound perfect to me but i kind of like that direction i honestly was actually reading that speech and i was thinking of putting it down for, for the <laughs> little mock-up yeah um Cause that speech is just in a, it's uh, the flea circus speech. It's just, oh, it's it best. is like when you just see like how, like how that right there should be like why these movies are done where someone's trying to keep control of something they they think they created, which you're kind of just replicating a process of life. You're not really doing like, you're not really the, the first one to do it. You're, you're, a copycat trying to create something and then put your name on it, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and then Ellie just saying, you can't control this. Like yeah. it, it, that speech between them both in that first movie, uh, we need to have more of those. Do we yes. definitely, there should be, uh, especially with this movie being, uh, the last one of this trilogy, we don't know last one in the entire series or whatever, but, and, 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 the ethical issues that are being brought up by these animals being released now is like the time to have that that like 
dinner speech that you see in the first one where, you know, with the Chilean sea bass from one of our favorite characters, right, Brad? Alejandro <laughs> is, you know, yes, he's one of the absolutely, more the prominent. Best. We need him back <laughs> for Jurassic World 3. <laughs> Look, you know? everybody's going to get hungry. You know, they need somebody <laughs> cooking the food so that they can go on their mission and do what they need to do, you know? <laughs> I'm going to start a campaign, bring Alejandro back. And and um, <laughs> if maybe Ted would agree with me too, have, um, oh, what was his name? Savage Sam. Get in this, uh, uh the action. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it, man. I'm in, I'm in for it. That's a good idea. Let's bring back uh, Alejandro and bring out Savage Sam. Yeah, try to bring one of the toys into the franchise. But <laughs> one of the ones that me and Ted made up. Yeah, you made this. up. <laughs> oh, um, God. Oh, thank you. Thing. Thank you out here to Say Moon Dan uh, over on the, 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 the chat over there. Thank you for the super chat, One one ninety nine. How about flashback? Nice. How about flashbacks in the film? Any predictions? Ooh. Oh. Flashbacks oh, in the film, any predictions? Man, oh. I've got – so many I, like i could talk for hours about flashbacks that Dude, I, have, I was you know ideas for i was listening to the, the <laughs> mailbag when you were talking about the flashbacks and mm -hmm. you know I even told you today, I was like, dude, you just inspired me to, <laughs> to do an art piece with something. I don't yeah. want to say yet what it is. Okay. But like the flashbacks are just oh man. If if they did the one you you're like you've talked about before with like a young Hammond, that would be so great to like like uh -huh. you know circle the whole story like put it put it yeah. back to like the beginning where it started to have just young Hammond somewhere you know yeah I don't know if they can de-age him but uh, maybe just kind of have a character that looks similar to him sure. when you see him like in his older photos you yeah know? I think I think there could be an actor that you could use as a young Hammond. Mm -hmm. um certainly um definitely but yeah yeah i i would love to see like a young hammond and um benjamin lockwood you know i would i would like to see what went down between them now that would not be yeah a, that that would actually be just a, a normal aged hammond um so i don't know how plausible <laughs> that would be but you know it, <laughs> it certainly is not impossible to do um you know carrie fisher was you know, in the Rise of Skywalker for a lot of that movie, uh -huh. so it's it's certainly possible. But um, I think that would be interesting to see what happened between them and and their downfall. But yeah, even back farther than that, with with a younger John Hammond and and learning about his his concepts and his ideas, like seeing that like a a, a flashback. It, this is actually way more than a flashback. This is like an entire series that you could build off of, like a young John Hammond building his his dream and his goals and. And, you know, going through the flea circus all the way to the, the Canyon Reserve to Jurassic Park. Like, there's so much to to explore. Mm -hmm. but, and I know I talked yeah. a lot about uh, Dr. Wu, having flashbacks with Dr. Wu. Um, and me and you were talking in person the other day about um, uh, flashbacks with uh, Dodgson and, like, getting him back in mm -hmm. the mix somehow. Somehow flashing back to him. And I know I yep. brought it up. Th I wanted to see, like... A flashback in the beginning of this movie, Dominion. Uh, flashback to like literally the moment that Dodgson left the meeting with with Nedry, and you get to see that story forward. And I think that would be a really cool idea. I think that would be awesome. And I I don't think it'll ever happen, but man, would that be cool. And and you could just assume all these different threads that you could go down based off of that moment onward. It, it could be really cool to see like what Biosyn got into. Uh, how upset he was when Nedry failed. If he sent a backup team to go fetch that canister, and mm -hmm. maybe their work down the road to see if they were ever successful creating a dinosaur. Obviously not. I mean, they had a lot of failed. Maybe they had a lot of failed attempts because they couldn't ha get somebody like Doctor Wu in the mix. Um, and then I'd like to see where they are now. And I think that would be a great way to lead you into now. So I think that's the best flashback for this movie. Yeah, definitely. And and you gotta you gotta say the the actor's name for Dodson again. We gotta oh, say yeah, yeah. it as many. So yeah, as many times as possible. We gotta know. We gotta like put it out there into the universe that we want Bob Odenkirk, uh, uh, Odenkirk. Better Call Saul, you know himself to be Dodson, be... Lewis Dodson in this movie. It there's literally no actor better than Bob Odenkirk, Odenkirk for this position. Like 
We cannot have perfect. the original actor, so that's off the table. So we need somebody new, and and uh, Bob Odenkirk is the perfect candidate for that role. Definitely, he would be perfect for that role. I, I yeah. remember when I when we were talking about it uh, over the weekend. I'm like, that he is perfect for that. I just yeah. finished seeing the last season of Better Call Saul. Like, he'd be perfect for Dotson. Yeah. And, you know, like Better Call Saul literally just started airing uh, Sunday and Monday of this week. So what better time to announce, you know, like the the inclusion of, of Bob Odenkirk in Jurassic World Dominion <laughs> <laughs> as the key villain for this movie? I think that would be perfect. So get on that, Colin. Get that contract worked up. Get him in this movie. Rewrite the script. Include that flashback. It's fine. You can have it. Yeah, Taylor, got, Taylor's we gotta out have there. Work, man, thank you, Taylor, for that the super chat, man. This is going to be a huge year for Jurassic fans, Taylor. Yes, oh, I yeah. agree. Man, mm-hmm. it, it's going to be a, a very, very huge year. And it's not even a film year, but it's a filming year, so that's pretty big. Honestly, when I saw the like the 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 name and, and the logo kind of going retro back to like uh Jurassic Park, I started actually instantly thinking about, hmm, I wonder what the Mattel toy boxes are going to look like. (laughs) Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. It's like I was saying before, they've established this, this like visual style for these movies, these, these new movies Mm -hmm. that's very different than, uh, Jurassic Park. So, you know, to kind of go back to that, it fe- it feels like it's against everything that they've done so far to distance themselves, but you know, go back to it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see yeah, that it on works. the packaging, on the on the toys, on the clothes, the merch. I'd like to see that in the theaters wherever it is. I want to see that logo again. And I think we're we're on the right track it seems like. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh. I it's just just going back to like those colors just work. Like um mm-hmm. they they they've always had that really strong presence cuz like you you look at the um, you look at the old toys uh the Kenner toys and uh that red sunset oh, with with so, um so the good. black palm trees is just catches your eyes instantly. It literally uh, yeah, it that sun the orange, the burnt red, like all of it uh-huh. looks so good so good and i you know it seems like the obvious choice and today today even as this is recording you know i i went to walmart.com and bought a bunch of ghostbusters toys literally (laughs) in the same packaging the same toys just remade 30 years later um so why are we not doing that 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 would make the most sense is just repackage resell them you know like I don't know what they need to do to in order to have the production rights for the old stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know what they need. Do they need – or do the molds exist? Do they have to recreate them? I have no idea. But, no, I don't um, know how that works either. Yeah, I, I would love to see them, you know, sell these toys again even in that old packaging. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? It would be so, so good. Definitely. When we got the, the Hammond figure, he was in the old uh... – red um sunset with the black palm trees and the the t-rex you yeah could, you know what i mean um i remember um oh, oh, i used to have like those the, I, well i still do it's like those old store it's like the story books of like the uh-huh. film and oh, there was yeah. the jurassic park one and on the back of it you have you don't have the t-rex but you just have the red sunset yeah. and the palm trees but the palm trees aren't just all like black silhouette. There's like some, it, there's some coloring in them. So there's mm-hmm. like uh, some definition between the palm trees, yeah. and just that image itself without the T Rex, just instantly catches your attention and then grasps your imagination. Like what is in be in those palm trees? What is in that jungle? Why is that sunset so like overboding? It like red, you yeah. know? Like, and, th- so, and that's what I like about your poster too, because like your your tagline and everything it, it kind of replicates that but with a forest instead of like the jungle it's pretty yeah cool. yeah it's the same thing it's awesome thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah um is 
exactly. So it's like, uh, and just seeing that on the clapperboard again, that that <laughs> was, that instantly caught my attention. Yeah. Other than the name, I think I yeah. saw that first before I saw the name. I was like, "What? What, <laughs> what is that?" Oh man, Jurassic what a day, World, right? <laughs> Dominion. Yeah, seriously, it's times like this that that are like really, really exciting. Um, <laughs> I I want to end this. I'm gonna end this very shortly here, but I want to get your opinion on this last question that was thrown in the chat, and it says thoughts on getting the Spinosaurus in this film. <laughs> No better person to have on to ask that question. To me, huh? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think the Spinosaurus should come back here in this film? <laughs> uh, honestly, and I'm going to get hate for it. Don't care. No. <laughs> I. The only one I'm yeah. like fighting for to see back in these films that I've wanted to see since forever. And, you know, I mean, the Spinosaurus has got a whole movie to itself, but this dinosaur only got not even 14 minutes to itself. The mm -hmm. Dilophosaurus. I want the yeah. Dilophosaurus back. Like, yeah. honestly, that's that dinosaur. Just having that little, like, hoot that we heard in in, in oh. Final Ki King, um, Fallen Kingdom. Fallen yeah. Kingdom. Such Final a Kingdom. tease. Final, ki <laughs> Final Kingdom. <laughs> that's it. No more. <laughs> No more movies. Dominion's <laughs> off the table. <laughs> it's just, it was Fallen Kingdom and Final Kingdom and <laughs> Kingdom Reconstruction. <laughs> like, nah, nah. Um, so when when I heard that, who, I thought that the Lophosaurus was going to pop out. And, yeah. and it was just a tease. And then we saw like a statue. And I was like, oh, come on. That's, that's yeah. mean. <laughs> it, see, it seems like there was supposed to be, you know, the inclusion of that dinosaur in the movie, but I uh, read, just, yeah, just didn't, just didn't happen, I guess. But yeah, that would be great if we get the officers here in uh, Jurassic World Dominion. So, and it's inter it's like it shocks me every time because I, I have to like correct myself in the in my head because I'm just about to say Jurassic World three, and I change it, swap it out to Dominion each and every time. I'm like, oh, gotta get used to it, gotta get ready for this title. Yeah. But now, now we can talk mm -hmm. about this moving forward forever. We don't have to say Jurassic World three anymore. Um, even though it's probably easier, but, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I, I'd love to see the Spinosaurus. Um, but you know, it seems like the Spinosaurus is no longer, you know, it doesn't seem like that's going to be a thing. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately I don't think so, but maybe somebody else out there is making one. Maybe somebody else, you know, saw the chaos that it, it did on, uh, Isla Sorna and, uh, maybe they're like, you know what? I need one of those things. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this. So, so Jay, uh, why don't you let everybody know where they can find you online? Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, on Twitter and on Instagram, you can find me at j a y e underscore j u r a s s i c k, and yeah, I'm constantly posting Jurassic stuff on there, ma mainly art and and um uh, my my dress a collection yeah yeah i love all the stuff you do and uh i know you're you. you you just got a mic recently so uh, a new one so you're gonna be uh producing some content i guess here coming forward for the oh yeah definitely so, uh i'm yeah, excited the... i'm excited yeah some more amber finds um uh collectors um hunters and gatherers and um uh you know, I just announced the other day that me and Ted are gonna try to come back and do a couple uh segments. Yeah, for you and Ted brothers. Me and Ted's yeah. dress. What's up? Yeah, you and Ted brothers. That's gonna be exciting. Oh yeah, have that back on the podcast. And uh, yeah, and then another one that uh, the contributors know about that I should be. I'm mm. I'm drawing up the yes, the the, the sign for it or you know the <laughs> logo I guess for it. It's a good one. So. Yeah. I love so, that yeah. idea. So, so we'll, yeah, we'll we'll hopefully hear all that stuff soon. I'm excited, man. So, thank you, thank you awesome. so much for uh, for joining me here today. It's it's been fun. Um, yeah. And j like I said, none of us expected to talk about this today, but here we are, <laughs> ready to go, ready to talk about it for over an hour. So, yeah, this is awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah, problem. Thank you. Take it easy, dude. All right, well, 
I'm going to go ahead and sign off as well myself. So yeah, this has been a fun one. Uh, how do I, how do I get rid of all this stuff <laughs> I put on the screen here? So let me, uh, let me end it out by, um, there we go. There it is. Putting that back on the screen. Thank you guys so much for, for all the super chats tonight. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, uh, to Taylor, to, uh, oh, my, my thing's not working to, um, say moon Dan and to Jurassic souls 88 and to tall the traveling clat uh go check them all out thank you guys so much uh for the super chats you guys are awesome you help support the podcast so i really appreciate it but thank you so much and please go to jurassicparkpodcast.com uh to find all of our stuff we've got articles we've got uh podcasts show notes videos whatever we have over there and uh please go listen to our are two episodes that we already have posted this week. There's two up there. The first one is the Jurassic Wire with Aaron Byer, where we discuss all the latest news, so all the casting news. Uh, well, we talk about the title, but ignore that whole thing. Um, <laughs> we talked about, uh, I don't even know. We talked about so much stuff. Oh, and uh, yeah, so I kind of covered it before, but there, there, there was a synopsis out there. So if you guys saw the synopsis for Jurassic World Dominion, uh, whether it's real or not, we, talk, we talked about that all at the end of the Jurassic Wire. So go check that out. Um, and then the second episode, which was a bonus, was uh, me talking all about New York Toy Fair and everything that I saw from Mattel. So go check out that uh, podcast as well. And uh, if you're checking out the podcast, you'll probably hear some stuff from me as far as Jurassic World Dominion is concerned. So uh, 